Whoever has killed this tiger has done it without using any weapons. But if I may play detective for a minute, all the signs tend to indicate that there's a creature of immeasurable strength, strong enough to kill a lion without any weapons, lurking here in the jungle. Due to the circumstances, we must return to Dwarka and send for the entire Yadava army to come here! My dear son, <laughs> although it is certain that the slayer of this creature possesses great strength, I do not think there is any cause for alarm. Look, here are footprints leading into a cave. I'm sure that the object of our pursuit lays therein. However, I think it is better if I go alone, for I do not want to endanger any of you. Oh my lord, we beg you! Don't go into the dark and fearsome cave alone! Stay here and wait for the Yadava army, and then we can go into the mountains of death. Like kings! Just don't go. Fear not. I have many mighty warriors with these. Do not be concerned for my welfare. Please, wait here, and I will return as soon as I have recovered the jewel. That's how I don't go. Well, I fear the two of us might just become famous for being the last ones who have Sasha and Krishna. <laughs> the signs may be foreboding. Yeah, I'm sure Krishna is fully in control. Have you ever known Lord Krishna to fail at anything? We should just have faith in him. Do you like the new shiny jewel your father got for you? Now I want you to be a good boy while I give you a snack, okay? <laughs> You're trying to take the jewel away from my boy! Stop! Trespasser! Help! Help! Jump up! Help! Who dared to make my cup cry? It was him! He took the jewel! <laughs> No mortal in the three worlds can withstand the strength of my arms. <laughs>
My dear Lord, I can now understand who you are. You are indeed Lord of Lords, the immeasurable, the infinite, all pervading, all knowing, supreme personality of God. You are indeed the source of everybody's strength, wealth, wisdom, beauty, fame, and enunciation. I can now understand, by your grace, you are the same supreme personality who previously made his event. As she Ramachandra, with whom I crossed the ocean of Lanka, to chastise Ravana, the wicked Rakshasha king. Now you have fought with me, just to enjoy your own pastimes. No one else has such immeasurable strength. No one else can defeat me in this world. My dear Jamal, I'm very satisfied with your enlightened prayers and gifts. Now, let your anxiety and fatigue be finished. People say that the lion is the king of the jungle, yet you have now proven that there is no one amongst the jungle animals to compete with you. You are my eternal servant. And just to enjoy the sport of fighting, I made you forget this. But now, by my benediction, your memory is regained. Please, give me the Shamatanga crystal. For in Dwarka, my character has been questioned. It is rumored that I have stolen it and killed the brother of Prasena, who was actually killed by the jungle pilot. I also want to give you my daughter, Jumbo Viti, for she is now a suitable age for marriage. Jumbo Viti?
let into my devotee, Jumbavan, in turn, killed the tiger and kept the jewel. After entering his cave and finding out all this, Jumbavan and I engaged in a mock fight for an entire month. At first, Jumbavan did not recognize me. But after some uh, sportive fight, he realized that I was actually his lord, and he immediately returned the jewel to me, and also gave his own daughter in charity. Now, please send for Satrajit, so I may return the jewel to him. Here is that scoundrel Satrajit! Ah, Satrajit, here is your, here is your treasured jewel. Know for certain that your brother was killed by a jungle tiger and that I had nothing to do with it. Please forgive and overlook the many offenses I have committed against you. I am the most foolish of men. Although the most precious of wealth of your devotional servants was freely available, I went to this useless jewel. I therefore think it is better to give you this jewel, so I do not fall into the deadly trap of worldly occupants. In addition, accept the hand of my lovely daughter, Tetsuka. <laughs> Many noble princes have sought her hand, but now I see that you alone are fit to be her husband. <laughs> oh, such I am very glad to receive all your heartfelt gifts, and I would be most happy to accept your charming daughter. But as far as the Shamataka jewel is concerned, I think it should remain in the temple you constructed. For then, everybody in the city can derive benefit from its presence. You should keep the jewel, but with a mood of detachment. For then, you will not fall to the clutches of my illusionary energy, Maya. Thank you, my lord. Now, let me tell you about such a Beginning. And when she was just a young child, she used to stare at you from the lattice holes in the terrace. Her cudgel and the stream of her tears would make a river exactly like the dark Yamuna. Out of envy, I arranged marriages with other noble princes. But now, I've come to my senses and see that this is the best situation. I'll arrange for the wedding ceremony right away and send out invitations. I'll help! Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 